Several of South Africa's largest construction firms are yet to deliver on their punishment for colluding on the construction costs for six of the World Cup stadia. It is reported that the companies Avenge, Murray & Roberts, Group 5, WBHO, Basil Reed and Stefanuti Stocks met secretly in 2006 and added $1.1 billion to the overall costs that were paid for by the respective municipalities for the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Peter Macaba Stadium, Cape Town Stadium, the Bombela Stadium and the stadium behind me known as Soccer City. The punishment the commission ordered the companies to pay was 10% of their turnover. But this has fallen on deaf ears and four of the companies are still to pay that fine. Now trade unions like Fedusa are calling for an end to the cartel activity by South African businesses and now yet another controversy is threatening to tarnish Africa's first World Cup eight years on. So in your opinion, this won't do damage considering the scandals that have been linked with the 2010 World Cup? It depends how you look at it. Uh, obviously, as journalists in the sporting space, we might want to uh, make it relevant for us to report on it. Um, but in the bigger scheme of things and being realistic, um, in the corporate world, these are some of the things that are happening every day. And uh, I don't know, maybe since it's involved uh, big businesses, it's not really looked at it as a corruption. It's said to be collusion because <laughs> if it was really happening in sport um, and sporting officials were involved, it would be called corruption. So why is this one not called corruption? The event in 2010 has had its fair share of controversy, but it has managed to keep its reputation intact. Despite all the investigations into Jack Warner, a briefcase of cash in Paris, but it will be remembered as one of the best events ever. And although football fans will pay little attention to these latest developments, there's still a lot of work to be done in the business sector to end the rampant collusion amongst companies with monopolies in the country. Thankfully, the 2010 World Cup will continue to be looked upon as an event that brought the nation together and celebrated football not only in South Africa, but also on the African continent. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.